It's an interim lightweight title fight between the Fireball Kid, Takanori Gomi, and Minnesota's own Sean Shirk. Sean Shirk making his way to the world famous octagon. Sean Shirk might have the toughest training regimen in the sport. He is a cardio monster, and I'm willing to bet the strongest man in the division. He's got elite level wrestling skills and a huge amount of experience in the cage. Sean Shirk ready to throw down and put on a show. his way to the octagon and he has his crowd fired up. Gomi is one of the most successful Japanese mixed martial artists of all time. The first pride lightweight champ, the 2005 Grand Prix champ. He has savage power in his hands and we saw that in action during his knockout of the night against Tyson Griffin. Takanori Gomi fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shave Gel. Get your edge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a submission wrestler. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone, fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota. He is the former UFC lightweight champion, Iron Michael Chandler. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, 11.1 stone, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. The notorious Connor McGregor! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Sean Shirk, Takanori Gomi. And here we on, go. Let's do it. Hook and an uppercut afterwards. Take your time, nice and he answers. He shoots. Nice sprawl, good takedown defense. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, over the top! What an exchange here. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Both guys staying in tight. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Good takedown defense. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Nice counter right hand. Man, good exchange between both these fighters. Both men scoring points here. And now he's answered. Joe, this place is going wild. Gomi switches up. Orthodox stance. Good sprawl. And oh, he answers. Hurt. What an exchange here. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Man, really torquing the body on those hooks. Just out of harm's way, and then boom, the counter. Both guys staying in tight. Over the top. Under two minutes remains. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Stuffed. Oh. 
and now he's answered. Sometimes shorter, quicker punches are the way to go. They might not have as much power behind them, but the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs, it takes more time for those punches to land, and the shorter, more effective punches are getting there first. Excellent combination. What an exchange here. Round one complete. The crowd is on its feet. These two fighters kept it standing, and they went to war, Joe. That was a beautiful display of striking skills from both guys, Mike. That round there is why we love this sport so much. Backs up, he's going square. So you got to follow him at range. He's backing up square. So you've got to stay on balance. You've got to keep moving forward while you're punching. And you can't stop in one place, okay? When you're done punching, you're moving, okay? Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here was that spectacular counterattack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang! And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Great round for fans of the stand-up game. Back him up, back him up. Off timing. Three, two, three, two. He's still looking for that upper. The beautiful Ariani. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. On, this go. fight's scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. Big right hand. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh! Gomi switches up. Orthodox stance. Oh, he hit with a big left hook. They are exchanging here, Mike. Both guys staying in tight. Both men exchanging. And now he's answered. Wow, that right hand. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Hands. Oh, answered by a big body shot. He's got the double. Nice sprawl. Good. Oh, beautiful hook. Right on the button. And he's out. Unbelievable counter punch. And this fight is over. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. And this is the one that does it. Knocks the mouthpiece out and shuts off the lights. And here you see it again. Mouthpiece goes flying. Knocks him out cold. Boom! Right on the button, Joe. And with the official decision... Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the The Fireball Kid, Takanori Gomi, captures the UFC Lightweight Championship.